Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And tonight we're working on the tulips. I thought I'd just get this out and see how far we could get. Just kind of go for broke. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody getting ready for their their weekend? Another weekend in the summer. Yay! Oh yay. Well, I got today and tomorrow off. Or, I should say, I had today off, and I get tomorrow off. We were going to go uh, play bingo, but that didn't work out. And we were just both kind of tired and over it. I went over to my daughter's house, that's who I'm talking about, um, today. And we put a couple things on eBay. And then uh, we went and had lunch, of course, with my granddaughter and my daughter. I should say I had lunch. There's no we in that. Um, but, uh, yeah, we went and had lunch. And then we went and played with my granddaughter at the park for a while. She enjoyed that. and started getting kind of cloudy. And so we ran a couple more errands to a couple more places we had to go. And uh, then we went home, back to my daughter's house. And uh, my granddaughter played in the, the wading pool. You could laughingly call it a pool. What a crack up. I think that thing's about eight inches deep. And it's probably only got two inches of water in it. But uh, she likes to play in it. And the dog runs around like a little maniac when she's playing and throwing water. And then all of a sudden a big old gust of wind came up. And you could see the mountains going. So we figured it was going to storm. Oh, it, it kind of sprinkled. It probably rained more at my daughter's house. She's closer to the mountain than I am. And uh, so we went inside and just kind of sat around. We had kind of a, we are poop today, you know, day. We were just done. Too much during the week, I guess. But uh, we were all kind of exhausted and. I finally left her house and went looking at the hardware store to see if they had any, what do you call those lamps? Oh, well, floor lamp. It's available like the one I got from Walmart, but of course they wanted close to $40 for it. And I said, nope, I can just drive down to Walmart and get me another one. So then I went to the, I call it the near new shop. Uh, here in town and I found a few books found a really good book. I started reading it So I I can't put it down and you're lucky. I'm doing this video. I My eyes get tired of looking so I thought, Well, we'll just do a little video. Well, I'll get the book. Hang on. I can't remember what the name of it is It's called Whoops I'll put it down there. Ooh, oh, I thought I spelled that. Sonoma Rose. And this is the the author's name. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll turn this around so you can see that beautiful jacket cover. God, isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't they make a great diamond painting? I'm telling you. Man, that is just freaking awesome. It'd make a nice cross stitch, too. But it was just beautiful. So, uh... I started reading that. It's about uh, the 1920s, I believe. The end of the 1920s, during Prohibition. And it's about this lady who lived in... Uh, oh, dear. Dang, damn, but I can't remember the name of the town. Well, somewhere where they grow apricots. I'm sure that's like all over the whole state of California. That shows you what I know. But they grew apricots, and they can grow grapes there and everything. So they weren't too far from uh, Los Angeles, as, as far as that goes. But anyway, her husband was abusive, and she took her four children. And, well, he came home and tried to beat the crap out of her. And uh, she, he went off to go, well, he was going to attempt to kill somebody. Um, and she hadn't really done anything. And uh, so while he was gone, she, she left and took her four children. And two of her children suffered from uh, 
I'll call it a disease for lack of, uh, let's call it an illness, okay, uh, from the fact that they could not eat or digest uh, sugars in their system. And, uh, well, she fled and took them. She had had eight children, and four of them had died from uh, this same affliction. And uh, so, as it stands, they're on the way to find a doctor uh, to see if somebody can treat them. Because her husband would never let her go to the doctor and said they didn't have any money and blah, blah, blah. That kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, it's a really good book. And it just goes right along. I've read about almost half of it in about a space of three or four hours. It's a real easy read. I mean, And there's not a whole... That beginning part with the violence, so far, that's the only violence that has been in the book. So I just didn't want you to get the impression that it was a violent book, you know. And there was a lot of violence going on, but... You had to understand what was going on for her and reason why she left. But, uh, yeah, it, so far it's a good book. And I'll probably finish it by tomorrow knowing me. If I find something I like, I just suck it down. Just read it super fast. And other times it takes me a week and a half to get through a book. So I must be focused, focused somewhere. But, uh. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you about that. I did find a couple more books and uh, found a... Hang on just a second. thought I'd show you what I got. I found this little bowl. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a fish. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? It's fairly deep. I mean, you can put almost anything you wanted in it. But it just reminded me of my koi fish, and I liked it. And then I found this little bitty vase. It looks like it's hand painted because it has this written on the bottom of it. I don't know what all that means. But I just thought it had a pretty little design. Just kind of plain and simple. And this one is actually from Ikea. But I collect ginger jars and this shape jars. So I thought I'd add it to my collection. I just thought it was pretty. I didn't care if it was old or if it was new. Let me put these out of the way. So I don't knock them off. But uh, I went there. I didn't find any lamps. Let's see. Didn't find any lamps at the near new shop either. And let's see. Um, What else did I do? Went there, went there. I tried to go to the library, but there was just too many dang people at the library. So, try to bring you in a little bit closer here. And so, that didn't work. But when I was at the near new shop, I found three books. So, I just picked up one and started reading it. Let's see, next color. Let's go with number five. I like these. The numbers are so easy. It's like one through 20, and that's the way I marked my things. I didn't put the, what do you call it, the DMC numbers on it. I didn't think I'd be at it quite this long. But uh, we are, so it, it's a nice painting, and the, the drills, this is from uh, Timney Arts. Tin. Me art, if I could just say it. I have the worst time saying that. There is an N and an M in there. Come on. But the drills have been great so far. And I would buy another one. I bought a couple more uh, cross stitches today. I think they were from Joy Sunday. I'm not real sure. So I should get them in the middle of next week. I just like their stuff. I couldn't find anything else I wanted. I went looking for beaded cross stitches and I couldn't find anything. Just sad. But I don't need any more, I guess. So I get it. I've got one coming actually from uh, 
AliExpress. It's not a, a full-on beaded cross stitch. It's just kind of, you know, you've seen those partial diamond paintings where the, the flowers are in the middle. And that's all you do? Well, that's all you, you know, bead. I did see a, a few on, um, what do you call it? I almost said Netflix. Jeez, I can't tell you we're tired today. Um, on Amazon. And, dang it. I want to... I can't remember. I thought I'd found a place. But, they seem to only have partials. And they're not quite as expensive as that one that I got the poppy from. But, they're all made on that kind of material. It's printed like that. So, I wasn't going down that road again. I just I thought I'd save my money. It, it's such a disappointment. And uh, I'm afraid I'll sew too hard or, you know, pull the thread too hard. I just, no. But they were made better than those. They were actually made better. And it was kind of like a, what do you call it, a partial diamond painting. But yet, if, I don't know how to explain this. If it was, like if it was this flower, can you see this flower right here? It would cover the whole thing. It wasn't just a blotch like that other one was, a blotch of color here and there to make it look like pansies. It would actually do this outline mess of it. And Oh man, hang on, I'll go find out what that was called. Okay, so the name of it was Beads Creative at on Amazon and that if you type in B E A D S C R E A T I V E all one word no capitals it, they'll it'll show all the the uh, beaded cross stitch that they have and don't get me wrong I don't know or I mean don't take my word for it but I didn't see any that were on canvas, shall we say? I don't know. I didn't look real close because I noticed that some of them were partials or or whatever. So check it out, guys. I mean, and, and see if it's anything you know you'd like. But it might be another um, outlet for beaded uh, cross stitch. And uh, I just I get tired of looking after a while. I'll put a bunch of crap in my, my cart and then I'll leave it for a day or two and come back and look some more and add some more and then in the end I'll just decide what I really want to buy and what I really don't want to buy. By then, I mean, I don't make snap judgments, you know. I mean, I certainly could have had several things, but I didn't, just didn't feel the need, you know. It just, I don't know. I've got... Um, two, one or two diamond paintings coming. One's a partial special drill. And I just got it because it was little. Because, see, we're collecting little ones now. Um, but I only collect the ones that I think will turn out well. And, um, a shout out to, um, Diamond Painting with Susan. She got... Um, some new cross stitch kits. Now I don't know. I didn't. I forgot to go there because I had to go run off to my daughter's. But she had just. She did like a whip and chat, I think. And she mentioned that she got two more stitching things. Um, you know, stitching kits. And I don't know if they were eleven or fourteen, but uh, they were really pretty. They were like town scenes, if you will, like, like, you know what I mean, like Venice or whatever. Uh, but they were really pretty town type scenes and stuff. But she got it from a different company, and I'll be danged if I could remember the name of that company. I'm terrible. But check her out. Um, it's Diamond Painting with Susan. And uh, you can see what store. She said that they had a whole lot of kits, so I don't know 
what their realm is or you know if they just sell cross sell cross stitch or counter cross stitch or whatever like I said I didn't have time to go check that out but go ahead and check her out on her channel and I can't remember what she was I know she was diamond painting but she was talking about the stitch kits that she had gotten so as well so but uh, there's a couple and there was one more and I I've been racking my brain for three days trying to remember who it was that said something about another cross stitch place um, that had kits and it was and I don't believe it was I think they were like an independent place you know like Diamond Art Club is an independent from AliExpress and, and Amazon but um, I think it was an independent place and I cannot for the life of me remember where it was that they got it it might have been Rachel Ray that was talking about it I don't remember But, uh, and I know Rachel lives in uh, Europe, but um, in uh, Ireland. So I, I, I'm a loss, people. I, I watch far too much of this stuff, and I cannot retain it all. I should be taking notes, you know, just like I was back in school. But because uh, I really like to check out new places and and things and what different stores have and what the quality is so and that Zamtac it's Z-A-M-T-A-C and when you type that in um, at AliExpress I mean excuse me at Amazon it brings up Zantac Z-A-N-T-A-C for some reason but so it's all mixed together it's like they accepted the the misspelling of the word Zantac is bizarre. So I was looking through them and they had some new kits that were beaded. And I bought something from that store, but I can't remember what it was. It's been within the last two or three months or so. But I'd have to go back and look. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're just... It just all depends because when sometimes when they put diamond painting on, oh God, what color was that? Zen and was right. Um, they call them cross stitch embroidery. So you really got got to read that uh, description and to see exactly what it is that you're getting. So just be careful. Like I said, I got a paint by number one time. It really wasn't supposed to be a paint by number. They got it wrong. So they had to send that out. But that's the one and only time that I picked something that somebody else messed up instead of me because I mean, I try and read those stupid descriptions 15 times before I push the buy button. But uh, I would definitely buy again from this Tin Me Arts. I just haven't got back to them. I wanted to try them out because everybody said that they were so good. And the colors are nice and bright and vivid, you know, I think. And uh, I don't remember what they had. It seemed like they didn't have, I might be wrong too big of diamond paintings they were all you know what is this oh dear this is a 30 by 40 but I don't know it, it's going well so whoops sorry didn't mean to move you left and then right and then make y'all sick but uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow god I hope not too much I just hate running around on my day off it just kind of drives me over the edge, and somewhere i got to go and do laundry. Won't that be exciting? That'll be the whole highlight of the whole day. But I really need to do laundry. And uh, that takes about 45 minutes. I'd rather go and get it all done and do two loads, dry two loads, and I'm home again. Instead of 
an all day dang have it field event you know to go do laundry those are the past days I used to take like three huge trash bags of laundry to go to the laundromat when I had the kids at home and a husband and geez good hour and a half two hours just getting it all washed and dried and blah, done so I'm glad when I can get it over with in about 40 minutes or so it didn't take too long and I can go like put the load in go run and do something else like I have to go to the grocery store whoops so I didn't mean to put that down I was just gonna transfer one of them uh, you know and then just go on do something come back put it all in the dryer and I think it's funny that number three is number three on the the thing. At least it's not confusing. But uh, still been watching Grey's Anatomy. It's one of those things that I can put into overdrive, and I don't have to think real hard about it. I've watched it several times through, so I like it up to a point, and then I'll get sick of it again and watch something else if I don't want to watch a movie it's I hate looking for a movie looking for a movie and, and you know I don't know I like movies but sometimes they don't have something that I'm really interested in so I just go on but uh, I don't watch too much TV not hooked on TV and I mean God I mean I would have the TV on from start of the day to the time I dropped into bed and uh, I get tired of it I don't want to hear it chattering and I hate commercials just totally hate commercials so I'd just rather watch something on Netflix and and I do have some DVDs I don't have a big extensive collection I keep watching them too so. But, uh, in some movies, I, I haven't bought movies at God in probably two, three years. I just don't feel the need, you know, stuff is on, um, Netflix or whatever. And we don't, I don't rent any, um, movies anymore. There's no video stores around us anymore. I think that's a thing of the past. I don't know. Might be in bigger cities, but not around here. And I just don't feel the need to go rent a stupid movie. And I had Prime, so I didn't even want to rent one from there. So I don't know. I just go through spurts between the books and the movies and the diamond paintings and the stitching so you know we can't ever really focus I feel like I have ADHD worse than I ever had it in school if I ever had it as I'm more focused I was more focused then but uh, not real focused anymore just too tired to be focused but you're lucky I can sit here and do this for 45 minutes but and sometimes not so much. Make sure that you're all being able to see all this. Let me just trip it back just a tad. Oh dear. Come on, Pink. Trying to get them twos in there is a little bit of a nightmare sometimes. Although this pen seems to pick up squares far better than, okay, fine, fit there, than the rounds sometimes. I don't know. It doesn't have, seem to have grooves into it or nothing. Get too many. 
because that other one I had to get rid of it because it had complete grooves on the sides from using it diamond painting well really I had one one way and one another what the heck oh dear so what else right now hmm Not much going on. I guess the rodeo started. Oh no, it starts tomorrow. And they'll be busier than busy. At the restaurant, so. I don't know. It either will or it'll be dead as a doornail. We thought it was going to be really busy on. Call that? On the Super Bowl. And. Pfft, it's completely dead. It was one of our worst nights ever, so. I don't know. You know, I mean, I think if our team, our state team, had been in the Super Bowl, it would have been a different story, but I, I don't even remember who played in the Super Bowl, so. Oh, yes, it was Brady. I remember. Not a real fan of Mr. Brady. But, hey, each to his own. I don't have any favorites in football anymore. They're either retired or gone. It's hard to believe football will be starting here in another couple months. And I'll probably be working. I do have that record capability thing. Um... You know, I, I call it TiVo, but I don't think that's actually the name of what mine is. But and that way I can record shows and stuff, and I usually record games. It depends. But, like I said, uh, that's about the only other time I watch TV is when football's on. Or my show on uh, Saturday night, and that's it. Yeah, I watch Ghost Adventures. I've been watching them guys for... I watch them grow up. God, it seems like 10 years, but, uh, got to get a different color here. Six is, six is, nine, yeah, okay, I guess all of those are going to fit, jeez, you would think that I had another one of them. And I'm going to be pissed if I don't. Oh, well, I may have some in my, my repertoire there. Oh, come on. Seriously? This is the only wax I can find. It's been sitting there for months. I keep three or four on this desk. I almost bought a drafting table, guys. Almost. It came that close. Yep, that close. And I went, God, that thing's heavy. I don't even think I could have drugged the damn thing to the car. It would take both my daughter and me to get it out of there. But it was heavy as lead. But once, you know, you get it set up, it won't go anywhere. But then I'd have to change my lights again. Because I don't have any clip-on lights. And, yeah. So we'll just go with this. It's not bothering me these days, so I don't sit here as much as I used to. Because there was a point where I thought my neck was going to fall off, but I must have gotten past it. Huh. Can't believe there's no more of that. Wow. Talk about running close. That's really going to piss me off. You know, it's gone really well. And if I'm out of drills, I am just going to be pissed. But, I mean, I still got a bunch over here and, and around that corner. So, I don't know. But I can look it up and see if I've got some somewhere. Maybe. I don't know why I save them if I never ever use them. It's kind of like clipping coupons. I can clip them all day long. Do you think I would take them to the grocery store with me to actually use? No. 
they sit right where I left them when I got done clipping them. Yeah, that's how that works. But, uh, yeah, I'm a great clipper. I can clip all day. Can't ever remember to take them to use them. That never works. Can't get them suckers to lay down there. It's almost as easy just to get them one by one. They sure are pretty pinks. I can't remember what I bought. Just bought. Just bought. I can't even remember. I know they were stitching things, and I had, like I said, oh, I got one that was a leopard. Not Is that the word? Well, it said it was a cheetah, but it looks like a leopard. Because cheetah has that weird black marking. This was definitely a leopard. But, you know, maybe they call it something else in a foreign country, I guess. I don't know. But it looked like a leopard. But it's a leopard in a tree. So, I'm interested to see how that's going to go. It's a 14 count. I'm like, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. See what happens. But I mean, I haven't had any, too many problems. I just cannot seem to get that out of my brain. Huh, that is so weird. Because that ain't going to cut it, guys. That just is not going to cut it. What is that color? 963. There you go. Put that over there so I don't drop it. Whoops. I need, oh, man. I don't have squares. Shoot. Dang it. Sorry, guys. My bad. Are you there? I mean, what would be one of my, my whipping things with without me dropping the, the camera? Yep. That is not going to work. I don't know if I put them. Because the only squares that I've got is from uh, Myrtle's. So I will have to pull that out. Whoa, crash be made. Oh, yeah, let's just put a whole bunch of fuzzies. Well, that didn't work. I'll have to look for it later. Jeez, oh, please. Sorry, all y'all. Are you still in there? All right. Okay, I had one in up there. 605. 605 is number five. Where did it go? Then I want to get them H's right there. H is 907, which is number 20. And who knows, there might be a bag somewhere that I'm just like totally missing, but I don't think so. You know, that I'm... Crap. Every moment time... had a few little god now I get out of my mouth puppy hairs there well it's a pretty green Let's see if we can set them in there the static electricity it's starting to get dry around here it seems like But the drills haven't been too bad. I mean, they haven't been staticky at all for this mess. But I notice it more when I'm kitting up something than, uh, you know, after they've sat for a while. So. It's usually that initial opening that I find that dot, dot, dot is 
It's a light pale pink. There's only three of them. And I got some spaces and gaps here, but when I turn this off, God, there we go. There, some are prominent, some aren't. I'll have to straighten them out with my straightener, but this isn't so big that you can't do that in the end. Sometimes I do it as I'm going along. And other times, not so much. Now well, we got that one hurt. Really? Don't know what you are, but you're not going to get in there. There we go. Some of them I can straighten out. Just wanted that edge finished. As you can see, whoop, I went too far. They're starting to come together. Just little by little. And this is nice and relaxing to work on because the, the drills just go in real nice. Don't have any issues. No tension, no tension. And they're not so tight, you know, that they'll pucker or they just lay down and do what they're supposed to. I'm, I was just impressed with this company. So I'll have to go back and see what I can find from them but uh, well, I think guys I'm going to call it quits for tonight my eyes are getting tired I read so much and no it was 20 that uh, I just can't hardly see straight uh, but I just want to do a little whipping chat here and drill with me but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you already have, thank you very much. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And we'll have more diamond painting and more stitching videos. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you know when the uh, my next video comes out. There was something right there. I don't know what it is, but it's coming out. Something that landed on there. Don't know. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great weekend. Rest of your weekend. Enjoy and enjoy that nice summer air. Y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye. God bless.